Welcome to the Skimp tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to take a trip to Paris. And uh, that's basically just um, putting yourself into a different background. Uh, judging with uh, brightness and contrast and um, saturation and all this stuff. Alright, so uh, we're going to open up our two stocks. And uh, actually, <coughs> uh, I am not going to provide the two stocks because you're basically or I'm gonna I'm not gonna provide the two businessmen because you should just take a picture of yourself but I'm gonna provide the link for the Eiffel Tower picture because it was actually kinda hard to find a good picture of that okay so uh, first we're gonna use our lasso tool and uh, zoom in so our magnifying glass and um, I'm pretty sure this is Obama it looks like him okay so I'm just gonna begin to cut them out <coughs> so just make these little actually I need to zoom in more 200 <laughs> you just start cutting it out and I'll be back when I'm done okay so I cut his out his, uh, him out Blech. but there is a part where his leg right here and then his arm. So what you're basically going to do is just use the uh, subtract from selection and just make a rough cut. Cutting that out. Just like that. Move up. It's kind of awkward. Just same. Cutting right there. Never mind. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, you're just gonna keep on cutting. I know it's a very t it's a very tedious process, but really, uh, the more little digit things that you have, uh, the more detailed and the better it will look. Basically. Also, the more zoomed in you are, uh, the better it's gonna look and the better uh, you're gonna and it's the longer it's gonna take so if you want a short kinda crappy job then zoom out more if you want a high quality way then zoom in alright so we're just gonna fit this image to window <coughs> cut them out go edit copy edit paste huge image just gonna minimize this and we're gonna have to scale him down. So use a scale tool, click on him, and you have to check check the chain. And um that basically uh makes it so that it remains the aspect ratio. So click scale. We'll move him up here. Actually that kinda looks cool, but I want him to actually be on the street. I think that'll look better. No, on the street, definitely. So that it looks less obvious. Like that. And then move him <coughs> right there. Okay, uh, I think that's that's good. And you're going to make that a new layer. <coughs> Alright, so now it's kind of blurry. Kind of blurry. I think right there is good. So first what we're going to do is he's kind of bright for the image, if you know what I mean. And kind of uh, too um, contrasty. So And uh, saturated. So we're actually going to turn down the saturation. Just turn it down a little bit and tone the lightness down see because it seems like he's just a little bit too bright for the image so we're just going to turn it down a little bit and the hue is fine <coughs> so just click OK 
and I think we can actually uh, blur our filters enhance unsharp mask and this basically just sharpens them and click OK yeah definitely not that much about 0.91 is what I used alright so it's looking better and better uh, if you if you want we can add a shadow if we wanted him to be on the street and uh, I'll show you how to do that just uh, wait one sec okay so it's it's a small guy first we're gonna go, go layer to image size and because he kinda looks unnatural because there's no shadow we're gonna alpha to selection him make a new layer below him fill that in with black select none uh... on the move tool click move the active layer move that layer out like that and we're actually going to uh... go layer auto crop layer so under layer there auto crop it <coughs> and then we have to uh... use a perspective tool so that it's like a shadow actually like that and click transform and move that right there and then uh... put the mode on overlay go filters blur gaussian blur blur by about five ah no filter actually i don't think it needs a gaussian blur but on a bigger image it would so there is your obama looking pretty good it actually looks pretty real so that <coughs> is how you add someone to an environment oh shoot that looks crappy i'm saying that a lot now because now that i've said it it's like i've broken a barrier but i'll stop because i think some of my viewers might be a little bit younger and that's a bad word don't never mind all right so uh thanks for watching this tutorial and uh yeah i have been sick but um yeah i'm better